Okay, let's take a look at how inroad survey can help you resolve some of your coding errors in your field book. Uh, first of all, let's set a few items up. Let's go to tools, survey options, and the first item is let's enable this box next to resolve code errors. Uh, what that will do is when you're importing your survey data, uh, inroads will search for any errors. Um, if there's any codes entered in your field book that are not in your style manager, then inroads will prompt you to correct them. The next one, let's go ahead and enable the log code errors. Um, if there are any code errors, uh, this will save a text file of them. Uh, it's probably a good idea to save that, to have that. And let's go ahead and enable the add edit audit trail. What this will do is it will keep track of any changes that you make to any of your data. So if you do uh, change any of your, you know, if you do have any errors that you correct, this will keep a log of it. And let's go ahead and choose a file path where we're going to save that. Uh, ramp C, let's call it. Click Save. And I'll click OK. And now. Let's go ahead and uh, import some of our survey data. Let's go to File, Import, Survey Data, um, choose your type that you have here. I believe we have a Sokia. Let's go to our, yeah. Go ahead and click that, Import, Close, and you see we have some code errors. Our uh, first one. Uh, we enter GS, and apparently that is not in our style manager. So what Inroads does is gives you a list of suggestions to change it to. Uh, these are all these are all our uh, various codes that we have in our style manager that begin with G. Uh, the GS these are ground shots. So let's go ahead and choose uh, G. We'll click retry and that'll import that point. Uh, we still have some other points that have the erroneous GS code. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click ignore all and there's a couple other ways that we can resolve the rest of them. Uh, here's the error log. Yeah, you can save a copy of this if you want. Uh, you see our code, our GS, and the error code GS does not exist in the style manager. Uh, save as error log, I guess. Save, close. Okay, uh, there's a couple other ways we can resolve the error codes. Uh, let's go to survey, view survey data, errors, and you see the text display. Uh, it displays next to the points that contain errors. Uh, let me turn some of those on. Let's go to Survey, View Survey Data, uh, Names, and let's choose this one. Looks like maybe point number 34015 or 012 contains an error. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go to Survey, Field Book Data, and I'm going to click this little target selector button, select observation. And what I'll do is I'll just click on the text that indicates the error. And it highlights the point that contains the error in the field book. And this point, um, in this case, point number 34015, which is what we thought. And here's our error in the code column GS and so we can just uh, double click on that that opens up our edit observation dialog and there's our code highlighted in red we'll just change that to a G I'll click apply and this is our audit trail log now you see uh, here's our first edit and it says edit log before, and you see our code GS, edit log after, and our code G. And this is an edited record. We'll close that out, and 
I'll close that out. And you see in the status column it says E. Uh, that indicates that the point has been edited. And there's some other codes. Um, N point has notes. And there's some other codes here. If you see these in the status column, uh, these indicate that you know you might have an adjusted point, or the point was inserted later, or whatnot. Um, okay, so let's scroll down, and we have it looks like two, three, four, five more. So we'll use the edit replace function. Uh, I'm going to come up here to this find replace codes. I'll click on that. Let me click Next Error, and it highlights the point number you see down at the bottom in the observations list, point number 34033. It has the GS error, and I'll just replace that with a G. Uh, click Replace, and again, here's our audit trail log, and you see our next uh, correction has been added. Here's our edit log before edit log after. Go ahead and close that out. And it automatically goes to the next point. You see our point number 33, which has the G. The next one with the air is point number 37. And instead of doing it one by one, what we can do is just use the replace all. Select this box that says match whole word only. And that way it will only correct points that have uh, GS entered as their code, and nothing more and nothing less. So once you select that, just go ahead and select Replace All, and there's our audit log, and you can see that now there's several more points that have been edited, and they all have the same, the same log, before GS, after G. Yeah, you can save a copy of that. It's a good idea. Just do a save as. I'll just go ahead and close it. I'll close that out. And I'll go ahead and close my field book. And I'll go to File, Save, Survey Data. And that's how inroads can help you resolve some of your coding errors.